Hello, my name is Chris Colburn. I'm president, CEO, and chairman of Colburn's. You know, growing up and in, in working for my dad and his brothers uh, for the company and observing, you know, the kind of things that, that my dad did always seemed of interest. Um, but what was, what was most appealing to me were, were the people that he worked with. Good people, hard workers, honest people, people with lots of integrity. I took interest in that. What we were doing as a company wasn't terribly exciting, selling groceries. As I've grown older, I've, I've become more appreciative of really the core purpose of what our business is about. It's, it's serving our communities with basic needs that we as human beings you know, need to survive. And then the quality of people that I would work with kind of made it clear that, um, that I was very blessed to be able to get that exposure you know, working for my dad and his brothers at an early age. And then you know, the business just grew on me and, and the, the desire to learn and my curiosity for the business and how we could grow it kind of took on a life of its own. The entrepreneurial spirit here at Colburn's is very strongly observed when we have tried to expand. It's always just our kind of our core family, and I don't just say that as a Colburn family member, I mean that as our business. We truly feel like a family here. Um, in every store that you uh, will visit, you can see that we all have our own independent culture. And that type of culture really helps uh, our business thrive in the small communities of which we serve. This year we're celebrating our centennial celebration and as we look back over our 100 years of history, you can see that it was that entrepreneurial spirit that has fueled our growth. It started with a produce market and then over the years, just out of sheer economic necessity, we, we started to acquire and build new stores. But since then, because of our leadership team, we have been willing to take the risks to get into different, different businesses and diversify. So that includes pharmacy and liquor and convenience stores um, online as well. And thankfully, our leadership team, which includes family members and non-family members, although they still feel like family, um, they have been open and willing to take, to take calculated risks along the way. And more often than not, they've worked out or, or they've taught us lessons along the way for how we can operate our business better. My experience at St. John's was around uh, learning how to learn, you know, learning to be a more disciplined learner, to incorporate those Benedictine values in my character as a, as, a, as a leader, as an individual, how to be a good person. The Benedictine value that I, uh, I hold uh, nearest to in my heart is, uh, is hospitality and treating others as you would like to be treated. And so I've taken a lot of that learning from those four fun years that went too fast um, into my everyday life. Uh, my father, Chris, he's, he's got an aura about him that uh, is pretty fascinating. When, when you're around him, you just, you just wanna give him a big hug. I don't know, his ability to network with people and his genuine concern with people, and he really is considerate all the time of what's going on in other people's lives, whether it be business life or whether it be personal. He tries to get to know you as best he possibly can. I think that my, my dad exemplifies many strengths um, for entrepreneurs that, that make them successful. First, his ability to network and to be a student of the industry make him very unique um, and effective in his role. Over the course of his I think 45 years plus with the company, he has invested so much time, effort, and energy into getting to know others across the country, um, even internationally, who have successfully operated grocery and, and other businesses. Um, he's been able to come back and help his leadership team learn from those examples so that we can, we can lessen that learning curve, maybe lessen the tuition, um, and be more successful because of it. My most exciting aspect of my business today is watching the growth of our people um, within the organization. Uh, my children now, fifth generation, uh, both of Johnny and Benny are, are active in the company and, and thriving and I'm extremely proud of what they've been able to accomplish you know, early in their career, but I, I'm, I'm optimistic there's, there's much more ahead 
for them, but I also feel that way about a lot of others in this organization that I've watched grow within the organization to uh, a bigger responsibility, more uh, uh, more responsibility, and and uh, and that really gives me a great deal of satisfaction. Our mantra around here is one team, one fight. We have to be uh, you know, united as as one. You know, we're strength in numbers and. We only maybe uh, 9,000, 10,000 strong. Um, we believe if we act as one, we can compete with anybody uh, that's out there. My advice to those listening that aren't sure exactly what they want to do is pursue your passion. You know, don't give up the first time it doesn't work. Uh, my, old, uh, my dad's old saying was, if you work hard and work hard enough, you create your own luck. And, and we need a little luck in what we do, no matter what you decide to do. So just continue to stay committed to your passion, work hard, and stay true to yourself.